is comparative oncology. Comparative oncology involves uh, clinical trials that include companion species, primarily dogs and cats. We are going to be taking a biopsy today so that we can look at how overall his cancer is behaving currently. Big boy. Our goal is to inject this tumor. We happen to be a program located within the Center for Cancer Research that focuses on trying to understand pet dogs and the cancers that they develop naturally and how those relate to humans and how we can study them and improve the lives of both species. Is the melanoma right here. So what we're doing in the dog trials is exactly analogous to what we could be doing in, in human trials. So I'm slowly injecting the drug. When I found out that there are dogs who went through this particular type of therapy first, maybe it will fix me. This is basically, on a cellular level, a human case of osteosarcoma and a, a dog case of osteosarcoma. Clinically, they present in the same way. Biologically, they act in the same way. I remember I asked them if I could see it under a microscope. It was a weird moment seeing the literal thing that is trying to kill me. Center. Being diagnosed with cancer at 20 years old is definitely difficult. There are scientists and veterinarians out there that their full-time job is looking at canine cancers, osteosarcoma, trying to come up with a cure. And I am one of the people that they are trying to cure.